this. I actually don't want to unpause the game. I, do, I, <laughs> I don't want to be a part of it. I'm gonna be honest with you. These sims are like really, really starting to stress me out. You'd think that after like 100 episodes of this, I would be used to it. But for example, I just loaded in. I thought, hmm, Anthony's kind of standing scarily close to that cow plant. Yeah, because he's about to eat the cake. So luckily I caught him in time to stop him. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I caught him in time to stop him. But like, I don't want to deal with this. Feed the cow plant. Don't feed yourself to the cow plant. Okay, but like with these things and my fire toilet, this whole house is a death trap. I just want today to go well, okay? I realize that I've kind of put myself in this position by like intentionally upgrading a toilet on purpose so that it catches fire and then having all my sims be afraid of fire. And then because of that, they like start more fires while cooking more often. And I just, I, I did this to myself, okay? But the goal for today is just to try and have things go well, okay? I want to work on skills. I want to get promoted. I, I just want to have a positive experience today. And with that being said, welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Honestly, I'm gonna start with Anthony practicing some debate because he needs to level up his research and debate skill. Blue, for some reason, is tired at 5 p.m., which frankly, I don't blame them for. I kind of relate, but they need to level up the gardening skill. I don't really know how much gardening can actually be done, but I guess maybe I can try and fertilize some of these plants or something. Oh, look, you can evolve that. Okay, water them. Just work on this a little bit and then we can go from there. I also want to check how much food we actually- oh no. Oh no. <laughs> hey honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I've put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your dear mommy you love her, can't you? <laughs> okay, normally this pop-up is annoying. Like sometimes I'll get this from sims that are in my household, but this one actually checks out because Blue's parents, Tommy and Pepper, got divorced. Tommy moved out. I kind of didn't go visit her much after that. And also she's probably going to die. So I might invite her over now. Yeah, maybe you should come over because you are one of the last remaining grandparents. I don't think the kids have met you yet. And I'm worried that I'll never see you again after today. So this is probably for the best. Okay, kids, do you want to come introduce yourself? This is Tommy. Uh, she very luckily escaped the, the clutches of the Bell family. <laughs> she kind of managed to save herself there. Although, um... <sighs> Age, elder, days left, negative two. I don't really know how this works, like the aging thing, because for some reason, Blake, when Blake died, they had like negative eight days left or something. I, it was very weird. I know that Sims can like outlive their lifespan if they have a high fitness skill or if they've like finished the fitness aspiration and stuff, but I don't really know like exactly how it determines that or like how it affects things. But either way, we have a little bit of time. So I'm gonna make these kids talk to her. They all seem kind of miserable. Oh. Oh, and Gemma Lou is a loyal dog. Oh, are you trying to come hang out with like Blue? Oh, that makes me feel really guilty for like not talking to the dog much yet. <laughs> In my defense, I got this dog like right before I stopped playing last time. Okay, so it's not my fault, but I really probably should like play with you a little bit. Oh, we're friends now. Okay, that makes me feel better. I, I feel like that helps. Maybe I should have Blue come talk to Tommy as well. Tommy? Tommy? Oh, okay, she's in the house. What if she dies while she's here? I probably should put that out like into the universe because last time I, oh my god oh my god okay this stupid fire toilet tommy don't come in here can you extinguish it please hello why did you all come in here bryce bryce no 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 is the dog on fire what, uh, what am i supposed to do about this i actually don't want to unpause the game i do, i <laughs> i don't want to be a part of it is tommy on fire okay everyone else left the house safely wait yeah it's just tears okay everyone else has left the house safely it it looks like, thankfully, Anna is putting the fire out. All of my most beloved Sims are in here. And Anna is the one who died last time in a fire. Okay, are we good? No, no, the fire is not out. Oh my God. Guys, I think I might have to buy a fire alarm. <laughs> I, I think I might need to buy a fire alarm because the Sims are not very good at putting the fire out. It's like, I think you can get it now that it's in here. No, put yourself out. Oh my God. The Sims aren't very good at extinguishing the fire when it's in this tiny bathroom. I've I found that this tiny bathroom is not really good for, for the fire toilet. Maybe I could swap it to the bigger bathroom instead. Like maybe that would be better because then it's easier to, to put it out. There's like more space. And then it's also not like directly underneath the stairs because it's when the 
fire goes under the stairs that we have problems, but maybe I will buy a fire alarm and, and like this fire thingy. <laughs> I've really done well to not buy this for a really long time. I, I like the fire. I know I joke about it and complain about it, but the chaos of it is honestly kind of exciting. But like, it, it's really getting to a point where I, I just can't take this anymore. I even get comments from people that are like, Kayla, you realize that like you did this, right? Like you upgraded the toilet. Yes, I know. I have it for a reason. <laughs> like I'm the one who keeps bringing it with me. I put it there. Like I wanted it, believe it or not. It just, sometimes it's too much even for me to handle. Okay, I need to make sure all of the kids like take a shower and stuff because some of them almost died in that fire. Like you, you are dirty from the fire. So can you come take a shower? You take a shower. You are probably fine, but I guess, okay, just go to bed. That's, no, don't nap. Don't nap. Sleep. I just wanted to have a nice day. Okay, you're showering. You're pretty much good. Do you want to come eat? Before the incident, I was actually going to see if I could have Pepper try and serve some food. How much do I have left over? I don't know. There's a couple things in here, so we should be okay for now, but I might have to do some cooking in the morning. Are you both eating? Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh my god, I forgot Barb's vegetarian. Never mind. I, why did, oh, Barb, you realize that you got that out, right? Like, you're the one who got that out of the fridge. I just told you to get leftovers. So why did, why did you get leftovers that you can't eat? That's a you problem. You did this. Oh my god. So far, Baby Bell is the only one that is acceptable. Bryce walked right into a fire. Caught on fire. Also disappeared a while ago. Barb disappeared the day she was born. Just fed herself meat when she knows she won't eat it. This one is a little innocent child. I love them. I love Baby Bell. They haven't caused me any issues. Everyone else is on the hit list as far as I'm concerned. And you need to watch out because I actually do have quite a few options. Um, I have a shark pond. I've got cow plants. I got a fire toilet and I'm not afraid to use them. I didn't even say bye to Tommy. I guess she did leave <laughs> and I don't really blame her. I would have left too. I mean, I would have been out of here the second that that toilet caught on fire. She's probably like, I thought I dodged this bullet. Like she got divorced from us for a reason. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> she already narrowly escaped that once. Like she doesn't need to be back here. <gasps> Where did that go? I keep putting this in the wall by accident. Okay, I think that's fine. I'm also running out of money from all of the replacing in the fires that I've had to do. And I need to wash the dog. So I probably could do that as soon as Blue is finished eating. If you would hurry up. Okay, there we go. Good job. Come on. Okay. Oh, Baby Bell, you're away. Oh, Baby Bell's gonna pee their pants. I know I just said that Baby Bell hasn't done anything wrong <laughs> and they were the best too and they don't cause me any problems, but they did just pee on the floor. You know, maybe I take that back. Also, I forgot that I deleted the toilet in here and replaced it with a tub. I did that when I had toddlers, but I could probably put the shower and toilet back because that would be a little bit more easy to use. Now that I've got so many Sims, I'm probably gonna need an extra toilet. Oh my god, the kids are like failing at school as well. Look, grade school C student, were you like late to school or something? Why is your performance so low? Baby, we just talked about this. <laughs> I just got saying you're the best sim. All right, maybe after school we'll have to do some school projects or something. I can't decide if it would be best for me to have them do their homework or maybe like, honestly, we should probably have them watch TV because their fun is so low. Like that's what they're gonna struggle with the most at school is their fun being super low. So I should probably just work on that until until school starts, right? I'm pretty sure Anthony stopped working on skills too. Oh, this fire thing is so annoying because as soon as the fire starts, they all run outside. Okay, well, you need to use the bathroom and take a shower because you've got work soon. No, you have work now? Oh my god. Can you shower a little bit? It's okay if you're like a tiny bit late to school. No, you're going to work unshowered. Okay. Also, it's snowing. Does that mean it's cold in the house? Where did I put the thermostat? Where? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, where did I put the thermostat? It's here. Okay. You know what? Maybe the snow will be fun. That might counteract the um the heat <laughs> in the house. Maybe I could have Blue just come plant a bunch of stuff. I do have a bunch of like seeds in my inventory. We could just plant a bunch of these to try and build the gardening skill because they do need it for work and they also need it for the aspirations. So I said I was gonna work on that stuff. Maybe I'll do that now. And Anna has work in an hour. I was thinking about having her cook, but I might actually have her write instead. It might be good if she writes us a screenplay or something. One, it's her life goal. <laughs> and I've not really been making her do that. Oh my god. You're pregnant again? I guess your wife died, didn't she? Is that why there's like a, a blank line? Because the game like glitched it out? Because she did call and ask like, should we have another baby? And then I said yes. And then the wife died. Emily was her name. So I think the game glitched out. Doesn't even remember Emily's name. <laughs> and she's pregnant. I mean, she has space in the house now with Emily being dead. So that's nice. Wait, why didn't you finish planting? Stop. I thought you were gonna do the whole line. Stop playing video games. Get to work. Injure Will. Okay, sure. And Harvest Fest is tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I'm recording this a couple days after Thanksgiving, so.
so that honestly kind of checks out. Like in, in real life, in, in real life, it's a couple days after Thanksgiving. This is like really glitching out these plants for some reason. Are you seeing this? Come on, you can do it. Come on, plant this. We're gonna have a nice productive day off work, Blue. This is really important to me. It should be important to you as well, considering it's like your life goal. I don't know why you're like, okay, there we go. <laughs> Level six. Okay, you could probably water all of those too then. Maybe I'll do a little bit of grafting. Do I have anything that I can graft? Maybe I could like take a cutting from one of these. Oh, that can be evolved. I don't think I can take a cutting because they're not grown. Can I like take a cutting from one of the plants out here? Yeah, I can take one of these lemons. Okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> that makes this easier. I think I forgot about you having work. Okay, you can go to work. Go to work. Please, please succeed. Please. Okay, this is fine. Maybe I'll buy some school projects as well, just to have them ready for when the kids get home. Like I mentioned, their grades are like terrible. Here, we can do some chemical reaction volcanoes maybe. Is that gonna glitch with the driveway? Yeah, it is. Okay, here, I'll put one, I don't know, space them out a little bit. <laughs> that should be fine. Did you take the cutting? Can you do it again? Can you get like a few? Oh, you got a special gift for me? Oh, well, I'll, you can come in. That's fine. I'll, I'll take the gift. I'll, I'll have it, Wilson. I like the name Wilson, I think. Uh oh, dog has to pee. Dog has to pee. Wait, wait, has to go potty. Please, please. What did I get? Trevor Verily. Oh, one of the little like my Sims thingies. Well, that's all right. I can put that on display. We could put it like over here. There, go potty. You can do it. Oh, out the back door. Oh, good job. Oh, I just clicked a pop out without reading it and we gained performance and some money. That makes me feel better. Anna appeared on TV. There you go. Honestly, if anybody's gonna be on TV, I feel like she is the one. I mean, this woman like literally died and came back to life. <laughs> like Anna has quite the story. She can write a memoir. Oh no. The kids are like tired too. I guess most of you are pretty much fine needs wise. So you could probably just come work on some of your activities here. Honestly, this is important actually. Kids, you're gonna wanna have good skills because we are gonna do like a community vote for who's gonna be the heir. And I wouldn't be surprised if people took skills into account when deciding. Although I'm pretty sure most people just want Bryce to be the heir. Like I think a lot of people have already decided. Oh my gosh. Ash adopted a child. I, I don't really know you though. Like we kind of just went to high school together. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but I'm I'm not like that interested in this. Can you feed this? No, no, no. Before it dies and before you die. Okay, cow plant fed. You could probably come take a shower too if you want. The kids are doing all right. They're gaining some skill. Hopefully this will help with their school performance too. Cause like they're not doing that bad, but I haven't really done their homework a single time. So <laughs> kind of my fault. Honestly, what if I just like ordered a pizza tonight? Should we do that? I'm lost. I thought I was gonna order the pizza there. I did it wrong. Order a delivery. There you go. Pizza delivery. Oh, we gotta get cheese or sweet corn because one of the kids is vegetarian. We can get a sweet corn pizza. That sounds good. All right. I might clean the coop and collect the eggs and stuff too. I keep forgetting I have a chicken. This is like an immortal chicken. I swear it's never gonna die, but I probably should work on it. <laughs> I should probably take care of it a little bit. And like, I don't know, pick up the poop off the patio and stuff because that's also a problem. Kids, how are you doing? Look at them. They're all focused and hardworking. Their dad is very sad. Oh, here, take the pizza. Pizza delivery specialist. Whenever an elder comes to my house, I always get worried they're gonna die. I know that sounds like really bad. That's like a terrible thing to say, but like I've been playing in this save for so long that so many of these sims are very old. Why don't you take the pizza? He like actually won't take it. Are you stuck? Oh, he's stuck. Should I teleport him? Can you get to it then? Anyway, so many of these sims are like so old <laughs> that it's not unreasonable to think that they might die soon, you know? He's broken. Reset. There we go. Can you take it now? What? You can't. What? Are you just broken? Should I reload the lot or something? Is it him or is it the pizza that's broken? I guess we shall find out. I'm pretty sure if we don't take the pizza, she'll just leave it on the porch. So it's not that big of a deal, but like, this is very annoying. What What about like taking a pizza from a delivery specialist is too hard. Now the pizza's gone. Oh, there it is, it's in the house. Okay, it might've been the pizza that was glitched. That's fine by me, cause I have it now. So what, Blue, what are you doing? No, don't eat tacos. I just ordered a pizza. I hate this game. I wanted like a cute story of us eating the pizza and then you just didn't. I thought we could have like a nice family pizza night. I was so excited about it and everything. We could all sit together and like eat. It was gonna be so cute. Honestly, while I say that, Anthony's social is like really low. Maybe I could have Blue and Anthony woohoo. We need to like rekindle the romance here. Actually, cause the romance bar is getting a little bit low. We can do that. That'll build both your socials. I hate to say it, but it's it's a good idea. Like the only time I have my Sims woohoo is to is to build their fun or build their social. Blue learned Anthony's woohoo interests. Mm. 
he's lived with us for a long time. Does that mean I- No, they've woohooed before. They've woohooed before because they have kids. So that's a little bit weird, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know, it's fine. Take a panicked poop. Wait, come on. Okay, there you go. You could probably finish writing if you want to as well. You started working on your book and you didn't finish it. Oh, maybe I did finish it. Can you publish it? Oh, there we go. See, that's nice. Also, the pizza person literally just now left. <laughs> she was there the whole time. Okay, baby Belle, you go to sleep. You were eating cake. What about the pizza I ordered? I bought this pizza specifically because of you. That's fine. You didn't show up to claim your pizza, so I charged you 25 simoleons and left it outside for the ants to enjoy. That's not true. You actually left it in the house. I know because I, I picked it up off my floor. <laughs> Anthony just became friends with Gemma Lou. Okay, cute. Um, the rest of you can go to bed then, maybe. And I'll make sure I put that pizza away so I don't waste it this time. I feel like nothing I tried to accomplish today worked. <laughs> I tried to have Blue shape these, didn't. I tried to have Blue graph things, didn't. I tried to have the kids finish their school projects, they didn't. I mean, just, it, it, it's been a kind of a flop of a day, but that's fine. I did order a pizza. I, I barely accomplished that, but I, I did manage it. And nothing terrible happened today. Even Betty's not dead. Somehow, miraculously, Betty is still getting on in years. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so the, the couch got struck by lightning. That is one slightly bad thing that happened. <laughs> that's less than ideal, I'll admit that. Awake at 4.30? This is good, actually. You could probably cook something. Clean out the spoiled food, and then maybe you could, like, serve up, I don't know. Do you want to make some French toast? That could be nice. Blue just gained the dancing skill. Are you dancing? Oh, oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> You woke up at 5 a.m. to dance? You know, that's one of the, like, cutest things Blue has ever done, I think. Oh, this bonsai has been recently shaped. Oh, so you did shape it. It's just, like, a visual glitch? Huh, okay. That's fine. Oh, and today is Harvest Fest. Well, that means I don't think they're gonna go to school. Well, I'll make it so we don't go to school. <laughs> we can have the day off and then we can work on the skills and stuff. That's actually probably for the best. Grandma's even making French toast. Look, we have fresh breakfast. We can have family breakfast. This is perfect. Is everybody eating it? No! Oh, and Anthony, that's actually so rude. Poor Anna made this lovely French toast and Anthony just didn't eat it. He like went and got leftover faux meat and chips out of the fridge. Are you getting something else? Oh, and cake? You're gonna waste all of my food. I made like a bunch of food and you're gonna waste it all. Anna, do you wanna cook something else again? Honestly, we could like make an omelet or something. I'm trying to stockpile food a little bit here. I also should probably decorate the house, but I forget. Oh, here it is. Decor box in the garage. That's nice. We got some lights and stuff. And after the kids are done eating, I'm gonna make them come try and finish these. Actually, I, I don't think they finished eating. I think I just canceled out of Barb's eating. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Barb. That's my bad. All the kids could do the gnomes, too. That could be fun. Let me try and potty train the dog as well. Here, ask it to go potty. We've already got enough, like, pee puddles in this house from, like, the kids. <laughs> we don't need more from the dog as well. Oh, there we go. Bryce finished first. You know what, Bryce? That's a good sign for you, buddy. Turn it on. Let's see it. Look at that. You did so well. Do you want to do your homework next? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just trying to make you work on this. Okay, Barb finished second. All right. That's a red flag for Baby Bell, but that's fine. I keep saying they're full name because it's so funny to me. I feel kind of like condescending talking about baby like, oh baby, you finished last. Good for you. Like it feels kind of mean. I'm not trying to be mean. It, it's just like the nature of their name. <laughs> <laughs> their name makes it sound like I'm being condescending when I'm really not trying to. So I keep using their full name instead, just, just out of an attempt to not be rude. We do have the volcano. I wonder if I could put it in their room somewhere. I guess it kind of, well, it's clipping a little bit, but I could probably alt place it. And then we can put it like in the middle of the desk or something. That's kind of a cute way to like share the desk because they did both make that project. Like we did both do this. So it's kind of a fun little detail to have some actual lava just falling onto the desk. Sure. Why not? What's the problem? What could go wrong? Okay, next question. Where did those gnomes go? I think they were still upstairs. No? Hello? Oh, they're in the kitchen. Okay. Well, we could all take turns with them. Well, I guess you guys are doing your homeworks. So maybe you should do that first. Oh, Anthony's helping. Oh, that's good. Okay. Bryce finished. So Bryce, do you want to come appease this gnome? Hopefully you don't get struck by lightning from it. <laughs> there is like a right and wrong answer to the gnomes. Like the different gnomes like different gifts, but I always kind of forget which is which. See, that worked. And then you're siblings can try. Do you want to give this one coffee? But like some of them hate coffee, some of them hate fruit cake. I don't remember. I don't really care. I kind of just try and see what happens. That's sort of my method for this. What are you doing? Stop. Uh oh, I clicked fruit cake that time. That's probably not good. Oh, Barb, I'm sorry. Um, do you want to plead for forgiveness maybe? This is not gonna go well. It's gonna like smite me. Oh no, it worked. Wait, did it? Hello? Oh, it did not work. Okay. Well, I thought, I thought 
she cheered? How was I to know? Okay, this could be a good thumbnail though. There, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Lovely family time we're having here. Maybe I could just sell the gnome, honestly. She got the like points from the gnome, so that's all that matters to me. Here, give this one salad, see what happens. How'd it go? Yes, no, okay. Get rid of it before I get smited. <laughs> I think it broke this. Oh boy, okay. Here, come use the bathroom. Everything is fine. All things considered, things really haven't gone that badly today. Like, it, it's kind of all right. Definitely could have been better, but it's fine. Oh, Jackson asked you on a date? Yeah, go for it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so sure, fine. Okay, well today is Harvest Fest, so I might try and like edit the Bell Family Club a little bit here. We have a few people, like Brayden, Colton. Those are all technically Bell family members. Maybe I could add them. I guess I didn't get Bo's part but that's okay. <laughs> and we can invite them over and we can have like a little, you know, family day. We can we can all eat the, the dinner together. I'll cook a grand meal. I'll make tofurkey so that everybody can eat. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, maybe you can make it instead. <laughs> Blue, do you want to try? No, not turkey. Ew, 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 ew. Sorry, tofurkey, better. Thank you. Oh my. We'll make it. I don't have enough space at the table for everyone, but that's fine. They won't sit there anyway. Maybe one of the kids can like make the table. I mean, set the table. Do you want to set the table? Party set it. Let's do like a blue party setting after you finish eating. The family is here, so if we could like get a move on, that would be great. Here, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm not even sure. Oh, you do know most of them. Okay, good. Let's like say hi to everyone. We haven't seen Bo in a while. I guess the kids could probably come introduce themselves because that is their uncle. That would be kind of cute actually. Oh no, I forgot I invited Tommy back over. If Tommy dies here at my family Thanksgiving, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I won't lie. I will not be pleased about that. Rusty, Rusty keeps eating food that I didn't tell him he could eat. Like what? I'm literally cooking a family- is that the- okay, yeah. I was like, is that the tofurkey? It is. It is the tofurkey. So, do you want to- do you want to put it out? Come on, it's right there. There's enough sims here. Somebody has to have a fire extinguisher. Okay, so- oh my god, Bo's wife Jacqueline is pregnant? Maybe that's why she didn't come. She's not feeling well because she's pregnant. <gasps> Bo's gonna have another baby? Wait, I want to see. Oh, we already have Lila and Alex. <gasps> Wait, wait, you named the baby Alex? Alex is a family name. If you go like way, way back, Anna's brother was named Alex. So that's actually really, really cute. I, I didn't notice that that had happened. I didn't realize that. Obviously it's just the game, like naming the baby a random name. It's totally randomized, but that's really sweet that like of all the names it ended up being Alex. Okay, everybody has fled the house. Um, it's because Blue has a fear of fire, so we have an increased chance of starting fires accidentally. <laughs> I'm gonna try and cook that again. Is that our second fire today? That's not like that bad. Can I cheat Blue's pee? I'm sorry, I don't want to make them have to go to the bathroom. I've got enough to worry about. <gasps> no! What?! No, 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 no. That is not, that's not happening to me right now. I, I swear to you, I did not do that on purpose. Oh my God, this is not, this is not happening. When did I last save? I can't. I didn't know how was I supposed to know Bart was on fire? This is exactly how Anna died because Anna left the house after a fire went outside And I didn't know that she was on fire. Oh my god. This is not happening to me right now This actually can't be happening to me right now. I even bought a sprinkler system I, I don't want I don't want I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try and plead for her. Come on Grim What am I what, what what this is this is like legitimately unbelievable. Is there another one? No, there's not no, there's not tell me there. Oh my god. There is there is I can't I can't deal with this right now. Plead for Barb, please. Please, please plead for Barb. I will close my game without saving. This is not happening. I'm not having a baby die. Did it work? I think it worked. Oh, okay. Barb has been brought back to life. Okay, Barb has been brought back to life. Anna's impassioned pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. How was I supposed- Okay, um, did the fire get put out? Okay, the fire is put out. You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cheat away everyone's fear of fire. We are no longer afraid of fire in this household. Okay, maybe this household should have the old ultimate fear of fire given, you know, what we've been through, but I, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I would turn off the fears if I could, but every time I turn it off, it just comes back on. Like if you try and turn off this wants and fears thing, it just comes back. The game just puts it back. So what am I to do? Is Blue on fire? There's like a visual glitch that happens where Blue runs out. I don't think Blue is on fire. I think that it's fine. I did plead for the baby. So can you give me Barb back, please? Hello? You said I could have Barb again. So give me. There we go. Barb has returned. Okay. 
I'm gonna get some screenshots because we don't want to forget this moment. Um, you know what? That could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Here, I was gonna use the one of Barb getting struck by lightning as the thumbnail. Death is inevitable. Gemma Lou knows that. Gemma Lou just didn't think she would be thinking about it so soon. What, my dog is afraid of death now? Even the dog? Oh, speaking of which, can you feed the cow plant? I actually can't believe that just happened to me. <laughs> I really, I promise, I swear to you, I did not do that. I did not cheat for that. I did not do it on purpose. I would tell you if I did it on purpose. The only chaotic thing I've done on purpose in a long time was cheat for triplets. And look what's happened to me. I, I have paid for, for my sins, okay? <laughs> I had a baby get taken away. I had a baby die in a fire. I, I swear to you, I did not do that on purpose. But at this point, I'm starting to get nervous. I feel like maybe I need to calm down with the, with the fires. But like even me having the fire alarm wouldn't have stopped that because Barb still caught on fire. It, the problem is it's like a visual glitch where they like run outside and they don't look like they're on fire until they get out there. And then I'm too busy putting the fire out to realize that there's a sim on fire outside. Again, that's exactly how Anna died before. Like it, this is the exact same thing. It is a, a complete repeat of history. I'm gonna try one more time to make that tofurkey. And if it doesn't work this time, I'm giving up and I, I will close my game. <laughs> If I have one more fire right now, I'm done. I'm done. I actually can't believe that just happened. Of all the people, it had to be Barb, the kid. Like, if it was anybody, honestly, I hate to say it, but if it was Anthony, I would have let it happen. I know that sounds bad, but like, it's just Anthony. Like, he's fine. He's eating spoiled meat and chips again. Stop eating that. Should I take it out of the fridge? Why do you keep doing that? Oh, it's because it's spo It's like one minute away from spoiling. Okay, that makes sense. So he was getting it out of the fridge, not spoiled, and then it was spoiling right away. The steak is spoiled too. All right, well, I'll get rid of that. Anyway, if it were Anthony, I would have let him die. <laughs> it also would have been really funny if it were Anna, like if Anna died in the same situation twice. But no, no, it was Anna's great granddaughter, Barb, who, oh, do you want to take a shower? Yeah, you've had a rough day, kid. You've had a real rough day. Honestly, yet again, the point still stands. Baby Belle is the only good kid in this household. <laughs> The only one who has yet to cause us issues, aside from peeing on the floor, but uh, you know, I've seen worse. Other ones have died. Died or been taken away. So Baby Bell is uh, is really winning. I need to be so careful about these fires. I actually can't believe this just happened to me. I, I'm I'm still like in, in shock right now. <laughs> I almost want to end the episode. I was trying to have a nice day. And honestly, it is a nice family event. Like like the extended families here were hanging out. I'm, I'm glad they were here to see that. Like it, it kind of makes for a, a memory holiday. So can I cheat Barb's needs? I feel like Barb having died today is a is a good reason for me to- Oh look it worked! Oh my god Blue you did it! That was so impressive! <laughs> you didn't start a fire that time! It's because I cheated away the fear. Because they had the fear of fire they were starting fire more often. I might get rid of like the fear of unfulfilled dreams and fear of the job as well. You can stay afraid of death because that like honestly kind of checks out. I might get rid of the fear of the dead end job. How is Anthony not afraid of anything? That makes no sense to me. The fear of cow plants is funny. You can keep that too, but some of these fears are like too much. There's just only so much of the wants and fears that I can handle. Like the fears, they pop up way too often. I love the idea of them. Like I love the idea. Oh wait, they're all eating together. Oh, and here I was talking about how we didn't have enough space. There's like a kid's table and an adult's table. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And oh, dead Alex is here. I knew he was in the club, but I didn't think he was going to show up. That's Alex, the Sim that like Bo named his baby after. He didn't die of anything tragic. He just died of old age luckily. So <laughs> don't worry. But that's actually really cute. You know what? Today's been a nice day. Aside from like the incident, um, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen though. M much like the Bryce incident. Bryce didn't ever get taken away. Barb never died. Uh, nothing ever happened. We, that was actually a dream. We, it didn't happen. It never, that was not real. That was all in your head. No, nothing ever happened. I certainly don't remember anyone ever dying in a fire. It was a, just a lovely family dinner. All that happened today was a lovely family meal. Speaking of, I might get some screenshots of the family meal. We want to remember this. It's, it's been a nice day. And I think on that note, I might end this video right here. Grim Reaper's still in the front yard, by the way. It's like he's waiting. So that's kind of why I want to get out of here because I'm starting to get a little bit worried about it. I swear I didn't do it. Can I just make that clear? I don't want this to happen. Certainly not to Barb of all people. I love Barb. Barb is so cute. If you like this legacy, I post it once a week. It's usually fun. Sometimes it's not like today. Sometimes it's like today. And on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, I can't believe this happened. I'm serious. If it were like anybody else but Barb, I probably would have let it stay. Not the kids. If it were Bryce or Baby, I would have closed the game without saving. But like Anthony, I, I would have let it happen. I'm just being real.